Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the directional switch in a KitchenAid trash compactor. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers and a quarter inch open ended wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new directional switch. The directional switch reverses the motor's rotation after the ram hits its lowest position. The main reasons why it should be replaced is if the motor won't stop at either top or the bottom positions. Press down the pedal and pull out the drawer. Then lift the front up by the handle until it goes over the drawer stops. Take the drawer by the sides and remove it from the compactor. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take two screws out and remove the control panel. Let it hang down on the wires. Then, using the quarter inch wrench, loosen up both screws that hold the directional switch. Manually, unscrew and remove them. Hold on to the nut plate, don't lose it. Take a picture of the wire connections to make sure no mistakes will be made when reconnecting the wires. But if you noticed, all terminals are marked according to the wire colors. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the wires from the old switch terminals. This is the old directional switch next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Using the color code marking on the new switch and the picture you took earlier, connect the wires onto the terminals. Install the directional switch and secure it with the two screws using the quarter inch wrench and the nut plate. Install the control panel and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Make sure the wires are not pinched between the panel and the metal frame. Grab the drawer by the sides, slide it in and close the drawer. And now when we're done, we can plug the trash compactor in or turn the power on at the circuit breaker. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.